easier to eat. Mung beans, or called green beans, are believed to have some cooling effects in China. These tiny beans are originally from Iran, but also commonly used in Chinese cuisines, both for savory and sweet dishes. They are high in protein and nutrients. So today I'm going to make a classic Chinese summer dessert called Lu Dou Gao, so mung bean cakes. We will need 250 grams of mung beans. They are already peeled and split when we get them. Soak them in cold water for at least 5 hours or preferably overnight. Change the water for a couple of times if possible, then transfer them to a steamer with a silicone sheet underneath. You can also use gauze or any other thin fabric. So the steam can come through but not the beans. Steam them long enough until they are softened for about an hour. Beat them to a fine paste with a mixer or a food processor. Here I'm using my good old Nutribullet. Add about 1 to 2 tablespoons of water so the bean paste will come out really fine and smooth. Our cakes could break easily without enough moist in the bean paste, however, too much water could also make them sticky and hard to shape later. Heat up the stove to low, add 40 grams of butter and 40 grams of vegetable oil. This way we can get the creamy taste from the butter but not too heavy. Melt the butter slowly without burning it, then adding our mung bean paste all in at once. Stir it constantly until the oil is completely absorbed. Then sweeten our bean paste with 110 grams of cast sugar and 50 grams of malt syrup from sticky rice. The recipe is on the card above. The cakes actually come out quite sweet. You can cut the amount of sugar if you like. Keep mixing it on low heat until the paste is smooth without lumps and the wok turns clean. To shape our cakes, I have a special cake mold here I bought in China. You can use it for not only mung bean cakes but also some other Asian pastries such as moo cakes, pineapple cakes. It came with different patterns which are super cute. Set the pattern properly into the mold, then measure 50 grams of the bean paste. The weight of the paste depends on the size of your mold. Press the paste into the mold, then do it according to the instruction. Press the handle gently to get the correct shape. Then release the paste without breaking it. You could also grease the mold with a bit of vegetable oil to prevent the paste from sticking. Seal your finished mung bean cakes in a bag to prevent them from drying out. They last for about two days in the room temperature or a week in the fridge. They are sweet, smooth, and creamy. Enjoy! Did you subscribe yet? If not, click here, click here, click here. Every day watch new videos at 6 p.m. Here are my two recommended videos. Thanks for watching. See ya. 谢谢大家.